Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about the latest version of Xiaomi.eu. Now this is a really really exciting version and from now we will have a video on Xiaomi.eu every Friday because every Thursday they release a new build. So every weekend I will be showing you the new features, what can you expect and why Xiaomi.eu is so special. But before we dive into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of this video, there is a link for our Telegram channel. You can go ahead and join us there. We have a lot of fun, including a lot of important discussions related to custom ROMs as well. And if you think all the hard work is worth it, then please click the join button and become a premium member to enjoy exclusive content. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So first things first, the device in question is the Mi 9T Pro or the K20 Pro. We do have the Pocophone F1 as well, but because uh, Xiaomi decided not to give beta updates to Poco F1. That is the reason we don't have any beta EU builds. We still have stable builds. But nonetheless, that is not the discussion for today. Today, we're going to talk about this particular version. It does say MIUI 12.3 by Xiaomi.eu. 20.11.25 beta. Now the security patch on this one is of November. If you have a look at all specifications, this is still a Android 10 version. This is still MIUI 12. But the highlight of this particular update is that it comes with a lot of MIUI 13 features. So what happens with Xiaomi is whenever they are close to releasing betas for their next MIUI version, they will start including some of their MIUI 13 features in 12 as well as a test. So, you know, just to give you a heads up we do have a new power menu new battery menu new volume sliders completely revamped user interface in some areas of the ui updated health application and apart from that there is a new look in the battery section of the security app even in weather there is a share ui which is new we have a lot of new fod animations so one by one we will quickly have a look but first we will go ahead and actually you know look at the change log then we will look at the features and towards the end of the video i will actually tell you my experience because i have been using it since yesterday i have been gaming on it since yesterday so we will talk about that as well so first things first if we actually go to xiaomi's website that is xiaomi.eu's website i'm sorry now you do see that uh, these are the devices there are about 20 devices that are supported and if you are rocking any one of these phones you can go ahead and give it a try because trust me xiaomi.eu when it comes to stability and other things it is at least for the k20 pro it is way better compared to the indian stable rom and it does have extra features let alone the missing features i mean the android 10 gestures and all the other things are also there so that is a really really nice touch all right so this is the change log it does say new power ui redesign for android 10 devices that is available it does say optimization updated android security patch to december 2020 just for the note 7 maybe in the next weekly update we will have the december security patch as well silent mode was turned on automatically after a reboot so that has been fixed volume panel couldn't be expanded when default volume control stream is set to ringtone that has been fixed the new volume panel caused crashes when the device is rotated in some cases and it does say we know about certain issues like volume panel misplacements and gray header in some cases it's nothing which we can fix it belongs to xiaomi that means those fixes are to come from xiaomi and as and when xiaomi fixes it even in xiaomi.eu it will be available there is a wi-fi fix because of html viewer there was a crash that has been fixed so if you have any other device apart from the k20 pro that issue has been fixed for you french language was missing so that has been added and long press the dark mode toggle didn't redirect to dark mode settings that has been fixed although if you directly use you know long press and go to the settings menu it doesn't really work when it comes to switching Moving on in security, new battery usage stats redesign and in settings, AI preloading setting didn't change if the switch icon is tapped, that has been fixed and in camera, new more tab layout. So that is everything about the change log. Now let's go ahead and quickly have a look at the features. So the big striking highlight over here was the new power menu. Now I have been using Android 11 ROMs for a while, the custom ones, they do have a new revamped power menu, but MIUI 13 or you know, Xiaomi take on this is really really nice 
it really looks subtle and smooth and uh, very very different which is what i like so this new power menu is a neat addition so you do get it in this particular rom now apart from this uh, if we go to the settings and then if we go to the battery section you will notice that the ui has changed over here as well there you go battery saver and battery have been separated you do have a lot of subtle animations and all the other things going on and a few more neat additions to you know the battery saver application now apart from this uh, if you have a look at the volume slider you will notice that it is following the android 11 guideline it might not be exactly like what android 11 looks but yeah it keeps hiding really really quickly over there there you go so yeah these are the new volume bars or volume rockers or whatever you want to call it they are following the android theme guideline if you go to settings and you go to display you will see that there are subtle changes over here as well this is sort of the angular or you know the big icon look that xiaomi is going for in miui 13 at least that is what i feel and the transition is very very smooth and subtle so that is something that i really really like apart from this if you go to the camera ui and you go to more you have this option over here which can allow you to use the new user interface not a big fan of this but it does look fancy it brings some changes to the table now thing to note over here is that apart from the night mode and a couple of other things you do have the advanced features which are not available in this table rom of the camera application so that is one benefit benefit that you get for using beta roms now next up let's quickly have a look at the health application all right so as you can see over here you have heart rate blood pressure workouts and when you actually go to workouts you do see that it shows you sort of a map now because this is a very very first version it still shows maps in chinese very very soon i think this will be in english and that is when it would be really really useful another neat addition which you have been getting with uh, a lot of uh, miui xiaomi.eu roms is you can go ahead and you know actually download different types of always on displays so for that you can just you know go to the themes section over here the themes app is also very very interesting in the xiaomi.eu builds it is the new one so you have dynamic wallpapers you have ringtones you do have a lot of different always on displays now because this is based on the china beta you will see a hint of chinese here and there but i can assure you you can definitely use this as a daily driver because the main elements of the rom they don't have direct chinese which will not impact your user experience at all now while we are at it let me also show you this particular menu as you can see it is animated it is giving you a preview this is so much better than the stock rom that we get in india meanwhile let's also quickly go ahead and have a look at the new weather ui if you click over here and if you click on share it actually gives you an option to either share it or save it to your gallery so that is a neat neat subtle touch if you see the animation over here is nice now apart from this this particular pill that you see at the bottom you do see that android 10 gestures are available and they are working smooth as butter i've not had any issues with the gestures or if you talk about the animations the icon animations are working perfectly fine as well and all in all this has been very very nice when it comes to an experience all right now we've had a look at the changelog and the features of xiaomi.eu's latest update that is 20.11.25 based on android 10 now let's talk about my experience over here i did flash this yesterday evening prior to this i was using resurrection remix 8.6.4 it was a very very subtle experience i would not say this was out of the world or it blew me away but yes compared to the stock rom that you get on the k20 pro this is 10 times better period they call it beta just for namesake i've not had any major major issues at least when you compare some bugs that you might have on custom roms this works perfectly fine although when it comes to gaming i did game pubg and cod mobile a lot on it but i did not get any time anywhere above 48 or 49 fps whereas in custom roms you constantly get 55 to 60 fps so that is miui for you but if you are a miui lover you will not have any major issues when it comes to gaming the fast charging is working fine if you go to settings and have a look at the amazing new fingerprint authentication animations they are beautiful as well so let's actually go to password and security and fingerprint unlock okay fingerprint animation there you go 
so that's the first one number two number three number four this one is what I'm using right now so yeah there are a lot of new fingerprint animations as well and apart from this you can just flash Magisk the latest one from TWRP and your safety net will be just fine so all in all Xiaomi.eu's latest update fixes a lot of bugs and you can definitely use it as a daily driver let me know in the comment section if you would try it or not and let me know what do you think about this video and if you've liked it please like share and subscribe until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.